Hey guys, this is X from Kapamon.com. I'm going to be showing you guys how to edit the speech bubble for Kapamon and how to change the fonts, how to change the colors, how to remove the border and how to remove the drop shadow. I want to show you guys the three different sources which all have their different uh, CSS properties edited. So, um, so as you can see here is the bigger one and this bigger one will be the original Kapamon uh, speech bubble and these smaller ones are going to be the edited ones with our desired effects. Okay, so let's start off with a normal attack command and as you can see here's all the different effects. This one has the orange color with a different font. This one doesn't have the borders or the drop shadow. So I'll show you guys how to do that. We don't need to take a look at this one because that's just the original, but let's open up this one without the borders. Um, here I'm opening up the property window on OBS. I'll zoom in here a bit. So as you can, uh, you guys can see, we have the two different lines of CSS that achieves this no drop shadow and no border effect. It's very simple. All we type out is box shadow none and border none under the speech ID, right? So to annotate that, you just use the hashtag speech with the, paren uh, the parentheses here and close it off and then hashtag speech before with a little colon in between and close it off with the brackets as well, right? So this, the inside this, the CSS is actually exactly the same. Box shadow none, border none, you just paste it over and there you have it. You, you can achieve the no border effect. So the second one uh, I wanna show you guys is both changing the font of the speech bubble and the uh, background color. So here we also have speech and speech after. To change the font, all you need to type is font family and the font name that you want to use. So the font I'm using here is Azul. I want to specify that the font name that you guys are using must be in your computer system. So if I'm typing in Open Sans, I press OK. And then, so I have Open Sans in my system. So you go, see, you go Open Sans and th that that's Open Sans right here. And <laughs> the reason it looks so thin is because the font weighs only 300. Let's try 600 and see if that works. And now you can see with the font weight at 600, that changes the boldness, the thickness of the letters. So that's another thing that you guys can play around with. But if I have specified this Laddle font, which I know is a Google font, but since I don't have it on my computer system, it just goes back to the default Times New Roman font, okay? So to do the background color, uh, we just have to add in this background color property with the color hex code. Uh, remember to add in the semicolon after every... After every uh, property by the way or else it will not work so background color the color hex code or you can specify just blue or pink or whatever um, with the name but that doesn't look as great I, I could go pink but that doesn't look as great um, I, I'm gonna go pink here uh, just to show you guys but since also we don't want just the just the speech bubble to be uh, background color pink we also want the triangle uh, arrow beneath, uh, beneath the speech bubble to also be pink or else you know the to or else it will match right so we just add in the border color this time not background color border color pink but also we need to add in transparent if we do not add in transparent it will overflow actually I will show you guys what it looks like without transparent Okay, so here's pink without transparent, it's, it's boxed out. So we need to add in space, transparent right after the color. There you have it. Um, and, then and then just to cap it off, we want to border none 
We can keep the box shadow, but let's just say we don't want a border here. Um, border none. And that's fine. Oops. So the border none here, uh, you should, for, for the triangle to not have a border, it's speech before, border none. Not speech after, after that's speech. Speech after is to affect the colors. Um, speech before is to affect the borders. So speech before, border none. And there you go. We still have the drop shadow because we didn't take that off, but the, there's no border and it's pink. All right. So I hope uh, this helped with uh, with you guys customizing. We'd love to see what you guys come up with. I'm sure you guys can come up with a lot more creative, a lot more uh, aesthetically pleasing ideas than I can. So please share them with us on Twitter or on Discord. So yeah, this is a tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time. Bye.